Hey everybody, hope you're having an amazing day today. It's your boy Clark here again, and we're coming at you with another awesome food adventure. This time, we're in Scarborough, and we're gonna be throwing down at a Filipino spot that makes Asian-inspired bows. So come along and join me, it's time to get food. Bao Mama's story started out in Alberta, where Chef Nina was learning the restaurant business. And then when she moved to Toronto, it became a catering business, then started operating out of a ghost kitchen, and now we have this fantastic spot here in Scarborough, serving up her handmade bows and so much more. Chef Nina is the absolute coolest. We had just met, and she was kind enough to take us back into the kitchen and give us a sneak peek at how the bows are made. While I can't share all of Bao Mama's secrets, here's what I would say. You guys are about to see some of the best bows I've had here in the city. See what I did there? I love me some Asian bows, and so when I came in, I knew I had to kick things off with one of their best sellers. This, my friends, is their OGC, Original Crispy Chicken Bao. Let me give you guys a closer look. So Chef Nina's passion was to bring the flavors of Filipino and Asian cuisine to maybe an audience that might not be as familiar. And what better way to do that than with these bows? You can see like lots of nice fresh vegetables in their Asian slaw. There's this sauce in there, which I understand is completely house made. And then there's that crispy chicken patty. All right, I just, looking at this, I need to dig in. All right, all right here we go, here we go. is awesome. Mm. Like the name says, crispy chicken. That's the heart of this. But that crunchy Asian slaw, that nice sauce, got a little bit of a kick, but there's also some tangy flavors in there, a hint of sweetness. Mm. Bow, pillowy soft. Mm. Moist chicken, crispy batter. Balanced up with that crunchy slaw and that pillowy soft bow. In addition to their standard menu, they do monthly specials on occasion. And what I have here in my hands is their take on an empanada. Oh, listen to that crispiness. Oh, and the steam. Oh, wow. It's still so warm. Like my fingers are, are almost burning. Oh, look at that. Oh. Usually what we do here, so there's a vinegar oh. here. Okay, yep. And, um, can taste the vinegar and then I add a little bit of a sauce. Oh yeah, <laughs> great. So a couple of sauces come with the empanada and I was told to start with the vinegar one. All right. Oh, so hot. Mmm, <laughs> okay. Mm, the ground meat in there's got lots of flavor. Looks like they got some veg in there as well. You can see like, Probably some shredded cabbage or lettuce. Mm. Mm. It's so crispy. And that vinegar really perks things up. All right, let's kick it up a notch with some hot sauce as well. Mm. 
That's got a bit of a kick to it. Oh yeah. It's not mega mega spicy. So if you do like to bring the heat, don't be shy with that because it's got good flavor. Back to the vinegar. Mm. Yeah, I definitely like the vinegar. Totally plays well with all the savoriness and saltiness in the meat. <laughs> you can just see that empanada is so packed. I didn't notice this at first. They even have an egg in here. Oh. All right, more hot sauce. Let's do that. Mm. <gasps> All right, the party just keeps getting better and better. You knew I wasn't ready to stop, right? We got to get some more food. This here is their pork spring roll sticks. So the filling is ground pork with your classic Filipino flavors. And there's like a, looks like there's like a little bit of um, diced up veg in there as well. Mm. And it comes with this sweet vinegar sauce, as well as their house-made hot sauce. Mm. Great on the empanada, and absolutely great with these sticks as well. And you knew I had to get a bao as well. I mean, it's called bao mama. That's what they're famous for. And in addition to their classic bao menu, they have other options as well. And I absolutely had to go with their Pinoy bao option. It's a Filipino barbecue pork. And as you can see in there, like the other bao, you've got that Asian slaw, you've got those scallions on there. But here you can see like it's got some crispy bits as well. And then that different, that barbecue sauce and that pork meat. All right, let's go in. Mm. <laughs> mm. The pork is tender, the flavor is complex. Oh, wow. You can taste the caramelization in the meat, the crunchy bits, the scallion, the slaw, just accentuates that. The OGC was absolutely great. I got no complaints with that one, and I can see why it's a bestseller. But it's these Filipino flavors. That's what's really speaking to me. Look, you guys know I'm not an expert or an industry insider, but what I have been noticing is that Filipino food, especially here in Toronto, is absolutely gaining in popularity. I mean, I had a couple of recent videos. You saw the one we did with the Filipino fusion pizza, and we also had that other one where we featured those interesting sandwiches of Hungry Moon. Yeah, if you haven't seen those two videos, definitely go ahead and check those two out. But what I'm seeing is that Filipino food, there's a great demand for it, and I can see why. It's just got flavors that are unique to themselves, but with spots like Bao Mama and those other two spots that I mentioned, you can see how they're all about integrating all these different influences as well. Are you ready for your salad? Come out to Bao Mama. Are you ready for your Check out their Bao's, of course, because that's what they're known for. But all their other dishes are fantastic as well. Can't wait to see what next month's special is going to be. What do you guys think? That was a pretty awesome feast, eh? Want to say a huge thanks to Chef Nina and the whole team over here at Bao Mama. They made this a brilliant feast. Thank you to you guys as well for watching this. As always, if you guys enjoyed it, please help me out and give it the thumbs up. If it's your first time here and you enjoy seeing content like this where I feature awesome food spots in and around Toronto and the surrounding area, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss another video. Well, I think that about wraps things up for me, but we've got lots more coming for you guys. I look forward to doing this all over again very soon. Check you all next time when I get food.